one of the misconceptions and, and certainly one of the uh, sometimes accusations that uh, people make uh, in the, from a Protestant tradition, particularly a kind of charismatic and Pentecostal Protestant tradition, is that uh, much of Catholic uh, ritual is empty. It's a form of religion without the power. It's, 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 uh, it's uh, the, the kind of accusation Jesus made against the Pharisees. You say all the prayers, but your hearts are far from God. I mean, that's a critique already all present through the Bible. But what's interesting in the Bible is that didn't mean to throw out the liturgical worship. It was to put your heart into it. And, and I find that actually over the long haul, uh, the kind of charismatic uh, d way of doing things without the kind of grounding in the liturgy eventually burns out. It just, uh, the reality is, the, the, uh, there's a wonderful book that written by a, a fellow named Charlie Hummel back in the heyday of the charismatic renewal called Fire in the Fireplace. And he really basically, the kind of image he uses is, you know, you've got all the enthusiasm and, and, and renewal of raising your hands and all that kind of stuff. That's the fire. Uh, but then you have the fireplace. And if you have a fireplace without a fire, it's darn cold. It may look pretty. And the, uh, but, uh, but if you have the fire without the fireplace, you, the house burns down. And so figuring out how to put the fire in the fireplace uh, is where it belongs. Uh, is in fact, uh, I, I think, a, a, not the perfect, but a, a good little metaphor or parable, you might say, of, of what God certainly desires for his Holy Spirit is to infuse the church and its, and its sacraments and its rituals. Uh, I've been doing a series of, uh, I've been doing a mission re recently, which actually I've done a number of other times, what I call the charismatic dimensions of the sacraments. And what I try to do at those, in those missions is uh, obviously most Catholics understand the seven sacraments and the external objective realities of them. But I find that a lot of Catholics aren't too good at understanding or experiencing the inner dynamics and grace that actually is supposed to be what the sacraments mediate to us. Uh, so, uh, so I try to help Catholics see the fundamental power that through the Holy Spirit that God wants to mediate to us through the sacramental life of the church. Uh, there's a wonderful book called, uh, is a renovation by James uh, Mallon, who's, uh, who's uh, uh, one of the leaders in Catholic Alpha. Anyway, he has something very interesting he says in his book, which helped me understand the Catholic Church a little bit more as a new Catholic. He said, we have so emphasized the objective nature of the sacraments, the you know, ex opera operato, to use the Latin terminology, uh, and that we have lost the subjective dimension of the sacraments, which is ex opera operandi. Uh, in other words, there is a role that the, the person who receives the sacrament has in receiving the sacraments. I mean, this is actually quite Protestant, but Catholic, if you know what I mean. It's, a, you know, faith. There needs to be some kind of expression of receptive faith for the objective grace of God to be received and make a difference in a person's life. Otherwise, it's, it's magic. Uh, so trying to emphasize and teach Catholics how to receive, for example, let's take confession. How many people walk out of the confessional absolved but they're still feeling guilty. They're, they're taking their sins, they brought them into the confession, and they take them out again. You know, they haven't uh, really entered into the grace of the experience of forgiveness and release and letting go. So, uh, so the same thing with the Eucharist, which is, you know, as we say, the source and summit. We believe in the real presence. How many people experience the real presence? We can say objectively Jesus is really present, but most people can't wait to get, if, if Jesus were really present here, the people wouldn't be scurrying around to get out, you know, in 30 minutes uh, uh, while the, uh, you know, while the last, I'm walking out of the church, they're already filed up behind me, heading out, even though we haven't finished the final yet. Something is on the subjective, personal, experiential side, I think is missing, and, uh, and I think to help people to, to experience and open themselves up to 
the Holy Spirit uh, so that they can experience the wonderful benefits of, of the faith that, that Christ has procured for us. Mm-hmm.